I'm Brian. Hi, I'm Colleen. Hey, I'm Jeff. Marina. I'm Sean. My name is Sean. Thinking of leaving the band. What? If you or Brian left, then yeah, the band's gonna be over, but you can replace her. What the hell are you talking about, man? Jeff, you're right, and I'm really sorry, but I did not think she was serious. I thought she was just gonna turn well, up obviously here. Obviously, she is serious. What are we gonna do? Cancel the tour? We put them where they are today, and we do not intend to lose control now. Quiet! Right? This is a press conference about 5NY's New World Tour. This is not for you to have an attack on their personal lives. Why does it always have to be about someone else? Don't my ideas and my feelings count for anything? Ryan, you're not still driving those stock cars. You're gonna kill yourself. Marina, I can take care of myself. Okay. I was thinking about the band and the tour, what the record company said about getting insurance. Okay. You haven't done okay. any right. of that. Okay, all right, fine. But there's nothing to worry about. You know I haven't raced all season. When have I had the time? Colleen is not gonna do anything stupid. Not now. They have guaranteed us a production on Broadway within a month. And they're gonna give us 24% share of the box office. And wait, look at this. What does that say? Complete creative control. It's a nice day, huh? <clears throat> you got the contract? Oh, no, not yet. I, I should have them probably by Monday. Oh, well, I thought you might have them now. No, actually, I have this. I have a tape of, of Colleen singing two songs from the show. She's fantastic. Yeah, it's, I'm it's... sure she is, Peter, but you got to understand, this is New York City. It's lousy with fantastic singers. Right. There are a million of them, just like there are a million unproduced Broadway shows. Now, I could put any one of them on, as long as the star is an X5NY girl. You get the paper signed, Peter. You have until Monday. The money we talked about on the phone is going to buy you a shot at the last race of this season and all the races next season. But. No guarantees. You got to make the qualifying time, or you don't drive. Hey. Oh yeah, the little rock and roll star who's gonna spend a little money for some high-speed fun. I'm the one they pay to drive, not the other way around. Who's Peter? Peter. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you mean. He's Jeff's friend. What, what the hell is this? Kali, please tell me this doesn't have anything to do with your leaving the band. You know I have always dreamed about going on the stage and Peter's gonna make it possible! Wake up, Colleen! Jesus, what is wrong with you? I know him, he's using you, can't you see that? There's four of you, you can do without her, I can't... Just stop! Back off, it's too much flatter. Brian! So he's in a coma? He's not comatose, he's unconscious. You're suggesting we wheel Brian onto stage in his hospital bed? I'm suggesting you replace him. You can't be serious. Look, Oasis went on tour without Liam Gallagher. 5NY can do the same without Brian. I mean, I'm surprised that you're not on the phone right now, given the time pressure we're facing. But Brian's the mainstay of the band. He's a musician. They're a dime a dozen. It's gonna happen to the band. 
You know, you gotta, you gotta worry about yourself here. That's why we have to keep working hard on this Broadway show. I'm still not sure. What? You're still not sure? What the hell? What? Uh, guys, we're gonna have to talk here. What do we got now? Ten days. I just talked to Ethan down there. We gotta get a fill-in. What's a fill-in, Carl? The record company wants a fill-in for Brian for the tour. What? It's just for the tour. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe I'm not understanding what you're saying here, Carl. You're saying they want us to replace Brian, no, is that it? No, They just want to fill in until he gets better. <laughs> when he gets better, he'll obviously come back into yeah, the band. Who the hell do they think we are? Millie Vanilli? Brian's been unconscious for less than eight hours. And all of a sudden, they expect you to get on the phone and find a replacement? Well, forget about it. Look, this isn't about money or marketing or hype. This is, this is about us. We're not a product. We're a band. We write our own material. We sing our own material. And we always, we always stick together. So you tell them. No Brian, no five and why. Brian. Brian. Come on, what do we do? I'm the one who's gonna have the record contract. I'm the one who's gonna have the Broadway show. You never really cared about me, did you, Peter? Not as a person. Not as an artist. What are you talking about? Jeff was your best friend. Look what you were ready to do to him. All this ever was was about you. Brian. Brian. Marina. Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. You guys just look so serious. You should see yourselves. <laughs> I suppose that means we can roll out brain damage. You know what I'm done with? How are you feeling, right? I'm sore. <laughs> Broadway or 5NY? Colleen, we have rehearsal tomorrow. Are you gonna be there? I wasn't there for you at that hospital. Believe me, I tried. Please don't think I didn't. I was really scared. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, <laughs> you guys are my best friends. You're my family. Sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Well, are we gonna rehearse or what?
We'd like to uh, sing a song for you guys. We, we uh, just wrote it a couple days ago. What's going on? This is your part of the set list. It means a hell of a lot to us. I uh, hope you like it. It's called Spirit Song. first concert was a huge success. Everyone was enthusiastic about The Spirit as our next release. We were back on top. But the storm clouds were already beginning to gather. It wouldn't be long before we'd have to face another crisis. With even deeper 
and more far-reaching implications. But that's a whole other story.